Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ethan and today I'll be going over my learning goals for November. So my primary focus for this month is going to be study for the JLPT N2 and I have failed it for the last uh, two attempts and this time I'm doing a lot more explicit study for that. So um, I've got about five weeks until exam day which is December the 3rd and yeah that's kind of like pretty much my only uh, target. I'd say the overarching goal for this month would be to once again reach 100 hours. Last month was the first month I've actually managed to kind of reach that holy grail number. So it'd be nice to replicate that and because of JLPT I really do have the motivation to do so. And now I've done it, there's no reason why I can't kind of repeat that. I think my biggest weakness in Japanese at the moment is definitely vocabulary. And I can see this when I'm doing reading, when I'm uh, watching YouTube videos, and especially when I've taken kind of example uh, test questions from JLPT. So that's definitely something I need to address this month. And to do that, I'm going to be using an app called Sticky Study. This is a SRS, so Spaced Repetition System, but it is a dedicated app specifically for kanji and vocabulary for JLPT. So I do use Anki for other things, and I'll talk about that in a sec. But for this, they're pre-made decks, and they have example sentences, and it's easy just to go into. It doesn't feel like Anki, it's a bit more nicely presented. And yeah, and a really good feature about it is also you can put in your target day. So I'm putting the end of the month, and then it will let you know how many um, repetition, repetitions you need to do per day. And it's nice, it's like a self-contained app, don't have to go into Anki for that. So it does feel a bit like a, a different exercise rather than more Anki. And uh, yeah, that's the main thing I'm going to be using for vocabulary. Next up is an app called Miji. And that was, I saw that recommended on like a YouTube resource video. And it's basically past papers for JLPT. And JLP don't officially release past papers. So that can be a tricky part of actually preparing for the test. But this app basically simulates a JLPT exam. So it gives you a timer, it has all the sections of the exam and basically uses example questions from different resources and emulates the test. So not official past papers, but definitely in that ballpark. And I'd say that's probably a, a tough, one of the tough parts about the test is really going into it and not being fully ready for the format and you're almost fighting the test rather than the actual content of it. So there's 15 past papers included in this um, app. I've already done one and although I didn't do great, uh, I did okay. And I feel that if I can get the other 14 past papers done this month, once I actually go to the exam day, it will kind of just feel like another one of them. So. I won't be fighting the exam. It might just feel like a, another kind of sit down uh, practice test. So definitely want to go through them and I think it'll be really beneficial when it comes to test day. So next up, I'm going to be using Anki in conjunction with the Intermediate Dictionary of Japanese Grammar. And basically the deck uh, has all of the sentences from that book and I'll just be going through it systematically. Some of these grammar points I'm familiar with and others not so much but it's kind of a nice, easy way to go through a lot of those sentences and almost kind of learn as you're going through the sentences. And I can always use the reference book itself to double check things that I'm not sure about. What I've started to do last month is go through the deck, kind of learn um, through the sentences itself and not the dictionary, but then after a few hours go and then read those uh, entries in the dictionary just to kind of clarify and fill in gaps that I'm not completely sure about. This is working so far. I'm not sure if that's the best approach, but it's working for me at the moment. And ideally I'll get through the whole dictionary this month. It's quite a lot to cover, but I do need to be ambitious at this point if I want to pass. And uh, yeah, it's enjoyable. So I'm at least motivated to, to finish it. When I took the past paper on the Miji app last month, uh, I got a passing grade just about on the grammar and language knowledge section and also on the listening section, but I did abysmally on the reading. So the obvious answer is to just do a lot of reading this month. Last month, I mainly focused on listening, so podcasts, um, YouTube videos, but I really need to start using a lot more link this month. 
and uh, yeah, it's, I think it's going to be fun. At the start of last month, when I was doing reading, it just felt a bit slow, um, I wasn't really motivated to do it, but by the end of the month I did gain a bit of rhythm, so I'm going to be mainly reading articles from a Japanese website called Study Hacker, and it's like a kind of self-help, um, productivity kind of website, but I really like the actual content of the articles, so I'm motivated to do that. I've downloaded them into Link already, and they're all ready to go. So I just need to kind of work my way through them, do as much of that as possible, and hopefully that will kind of give me a bit more confidence going into the exam. The other part, going back to sticky study, is again, through reading, a big weakness is vocabulary. So hopefully using sticky study and link together, um, yeah, uh, my reading comprehension and ability to actually pass the test will improve and uh, yeah, just at least give me a decent shot. That pretty much covers my kind of more explicit goals for the month. Um, I am motivated to start watching kind of TV shows and dramas and that kind of stuff, but I'm gonna put that off until after JLPT. Right now, if I kind of streamline my study a bit, focus on what I need to focus on and then worry about more enjoyment a bit later on. Um, this is, because it's not too long, I don't find this is gonna be a problem. Four or five weeks of kind of exam focused prep and my reward can be hopefully pass the test, but also be able to do a bit more of the fun things. So watch some films, watch some dramas, maybe even some anime. And uh, yeah, but for now, focus on the JLPT and uh, yeah, kind of relax. I can relax a bit uh, more after after it's done. So there's quite a lot to be getting on with this month, but um, I feel as though I'm kind of in a good place mentally and um, my study's quite streamlined towards the test. So. I just want to give myself a good chance of passing, and um, yeah, that's about it for this uh, this video, and um, hopefully I can see you at the end of the month for the summary of uh, how everything goes, and by that point I should have a, a decent gauge on how confident I'll be to actually pass. Um, lots of vocab, lots of reading, and especially the past papers, yeah, that will uh, give me a good idea going into the test. But that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye for now.